Shall we begin? actually playing in Nashville. Now, what makes it extra special is that Charles Trippy has been playing bass for them for several months now. And he's in Nashville too. Now, this is going to be kind of fun because I've got to try and see if I can get in and film them. I don't have a ticket. I tried to buy one, but by the time I found out about it, the pre-orders were sold out. I don't mind paying, but I don't really have a way in right now, basically. So, I'm going to show up there and if nothing else, just try and get a little footage of them one way or another. Um, hopefully I'll get to talk to them one day. Who knows? If I don't, this is a big old fail. Y'all will never see this anyway. But, I kind of feel like I'd be doing everybody a disservice if I didn't at least try. So, here goes nothing. Here's something you don't see much of anymore. Eighty-seven or eighty-eight. Sorry about the bounciness, but I got a tire out of balance now. It's a eighty-seven or eighty-eight uh, Ford Mustang GT with the full GT package on it. The ground effects, the louvered tail lights. That's something that just you just don't run into much anymore. I don't know how many of those I smoked with my eye rod while I wore them out. I kind of miss that old car, but there wouldn't be no wouldn't be any recreating it unless I could just happen to find a stage 5 Hypertech chip to put back in the thing like I had. But it used to smoke the fire out of those Mustangs like that. I'm not sure that guy was just going to plow into somebody. 
I've driven like that myself in the past, but I never, ever took anybody else's safety or put anybody else's safety at risk by doing what, what I was doing. Not, not directly like that, because any one of us would have screwed up the least little bit, it would have been all over. driver from Michigan. Probably be reading about him in the paper or seeing it on the evening news that he plowed into somebody. Just being an idiot. I had actually planned to shut the camera off. I'm glad I didn't now because y'all will get to see that. Here's their bus. Well, let's see. There he is. Nice as a B stuff. What's your name? Yeah. Uh, I'm on YouTube as Daddy Tech. Oh, cool. Nice to meet you, man. So, Do you want to get him a quick photo, real quick? We're about to yeah. head out. I thought for a minute they were gonna block me out of that, keep me from getting my chance to meet him, but pretty nice fella. I gave him one of my cards with all my addresses and such on it. But one thing I wanted to focus on is the fans. Let's step up here so I can get a better view of it. They were wrapped all around back there for two blocks. So, this is what we're faced with. Of course, they have to leave the entrances open so the cars can get in and out. But. Hey. Trying to get a media pass. Can't seem to get in the door. They're checking with the tour manager to see if they're even going to let me uh, video in there at all. And we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you in touch. Uh, keep you updated.
Standing in the left corner, weighing in at 115 pounds, soaking wet. Standing at 6 foot 1, the one and only Charles Trippy! And then, the person who makes everybody shake their booty a little bit. You just gotta feel it. My best friend in the whole wide world, give it up for Danny Duncan! Travis Clark and together we make you the things.